everybody, check it out. Yep, we got the Slowpoke from Hobby King Durafly. Um, pretty cool little airplane. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to put an FPV camera with Hobby King's pan and tilt in there. It'd be a really neat FPV bird. Here's your specs, 1200 millimeter, takes 3S2200. It's got 4 9 gram servos, 12 by 8 propeller. It's got the Aerostar 40 amp speed control. So yeah, there's not much else on the box. So we'll get it unboxed here and show you what's in there. And you can kind of see how it's packaged. Open it up a little bit for you. you got your wing and your rudder. Here's the fuselage and some other bits. So we'll get it all laying out here and then we'll have a little walkthrough. Okay, here's everything you get in the box. You got your wings, your tail surfaces. This here would be the spar, landing gear, cover for underneath the plane there, your prop. You got it'll be the little flying wires that will go down on the wing and tail surfaces here. And in here is a little bag of some goodies. You've got some screws, aileron wire harness, a bunch of the little springs, a um, little cover for the landing gear underneath, and some screws and some Velcro. And let's give you a good look at the basics here, and then we'll go into a building session here pretty quick. I gotta get back to work. Let's do this unboxing on my lunch break, so unfortunately I have to work for a living. But feels pretty good foam. So you've got your aileron extension, your spar will just slip right in there. And then you'll join your wings together. Look, it even says slow poke right on it. That's pretty cool. Pretty stout wood spar. Two wings. Here's the other half of it with its decals. You always want to work your surfaces before you hook up your linkages. Make sure they're free and easy moving. Tail surface. You'll be gluing these on. So again, work those before you get them put on. But uh, how's it go? It goes in there. So we'll get to that when we go to building it. So it's got actual hinges. These other ones are foam hinges, but if you look in this one, we have real, real hinges. That's really cool. Nice. Pretty nice touch. Have a look at the fuselage here. You can see that big motor in there. It's got the cool scale motor hanging out the sides. Kind of looks like a J3 Cub nose on there. Wing will go on the bottom. Got your little steerable tail wheel. There's the back end. You can see down in there the linkage for how the tail wheel works. It's got a pretty strong magnet on there. So I'm really thinking putting that pan and tilt deal on here. We'll take the pilot off. Looks like he just comes unscrews and will screw on the FPV system and have a whole lot of fun. Big cavernous, cavernous fuselage. See down in there, a bunch of, lots of space for stuff. Batteries and some FPV gear for me. Pretty nice. This hole up here goes all the way through it comes through here, so pretty good cooling in there. So there's that. So not too much to it. Should be a really easy build. So when I get off work, I will come back and build this. Okay, everybody. I went online to Hobby King's website. Um, found the plane where you purchase it. And there's a link to download the manual. You don't have to print it off. I just did. You know, so I could sit here and do this uh, for you guys to show you guys how to build this thing. So you're going to need some glue to glue on the tail surface. You're going to need a screwdriver and a pliers probably, and a receiver and a battery. And we'll get started. Okay, step one. It says they want you to put the tail surfaces on in the manual. And it also makes note in there that you should work these around five to six times to reduce tension. What it's going to do is free up the hinges a little bit and make them 
just move easier so your servos don't have to work too hard. And then to fit that in there, you just kind of work it in there till you get the notch, and that's how it's going to go. And then from here, I'm just going to do a test fit here, but from here, it's just going to go right into the plane. Pretty much like that. So I'll take it apart and I'll glue it and we'll be right back when that dries. Okay, we got that on. The next thing it wants you to do is to put on your control horns. And you can see that they've awesomely labeled what is what. So pretty simple, run the screws through, kind of bolt the control horns on and then you'll bolt them up to the linkages. So we'll do that now and be right back. Okay, we've got that built. Turn my light a little bit here. I just put them on the outside holes here, but just screw it through there. Two screws each one. Use your pliers on this one, Phillips screwdriver. Get them in place and bam, you're good to go. step which is the wing okay the wing here in the manual it shows you'll glue these surfaces and shove the wing together doesn't say much about putting it on the spar it probably doesn't really matter and then you'll also do the control horns so we'll get that uh, I think what I'm going to do is put these on first, so they'll be easiest in these halves. And then we'll join the wing together, because the next step will be putting it on the plane with the landing gear. This is a really fast building plane. So I'll get these on and get the center glued, and we'll be right back. Okay, we got the wing all glued together. Flip it over here, show you the linkages, how they went on. I, again, I put everything in the top holes. I just kind of eyeballed somewhat what seemed like level and straight up and down. Um, I didn't put the linkages totally tight because I'm sure we're going to have to adjust those probably a little bit. But anyways, gives you an idea of how it goes. So, on to the next step, which will be putting this onto the fuselage. Okay, for the landing gear, you're going to need these plastic pieces, which will go there, and then you'll bolt through those, screw through them, as well as there. And... Uh, so we'll get the screws in, and then we'll put the landing gear in, this little keeper for the landing gear, and then it has its own screws, and then we'll flip it over, and we'll put the aileron Y harness on after that. One thing to note on this rear piece here, hope I can get it in view, it is angled. So you'll notice the thicker part will go forward here. So if you put it in there right, it'll fit fairly flush. If you put it in there wrong, It'll fit really wrong. Kind of a hard thing to show, but a little tip for you there. Okay, you'll see the three different lengths of screws. Um, they've got to be in certain places. So the longest ones should go here. Medium ones here, and then the short ones will go in the very front. Okay, next we'll use the landing gear. You'll see it's got a little bit of a tip to it. So you're going to want it to tip forward. Like so. Put the little keeper in. And then in that package there was a couple little tiny, tiny screws. Little guys. We'll put those in. This is one extremely, extremely fast building airplane. If I wasn't trying to do it all on film, I think you could probably do it in half an hour. It's pretty much the only thing left is the flying wires and the prop and radio setup. So easy. Uh, there is one more thing here while we're on the bottom. And that would be the exhaust stack, which goes into there, which is even labeled. Exhaust stack. So we'll just glue that in really quick. 
and then we'll be done on the bottom except for if we have to adjust the uh, aileron linkages. Just put a little dab of glue on it and stick it in there. Get trial fit. Okay, flying wire points of interest here guys. There is different links. You can see there's different sizes of these springs. There's only two of these long ones and I'm pretty sure they go like that. And then the little ones all go at the ends. Well, that's just how it is. But anyways, what I did, some of these loops are not closed, so I took a little pliers and pinched them shut. Um, another thing to note here on these flying wires for the front, is you can see they're two different sizes. Some are longer than others. So the longer one will take the longer path, and the shorter one will go forward. So on that note, get that together, and then we'll put this in. And then we hook these guys up. Just like that, piece of cake. And then the rear one obviously gets two of the shorter springs and then goes from there to there. So here's the spinner. I like that they, or the prop, I like that they colored the tips because that always looks awesome in the air. Um, I wouldn't recommend mounting it permanently until you are done with the radio setup and all that because you just don't want electrics to fire up with your fingers near them or when you're not ready because they're kind of cool about that. Not like a gas motor, you know when it's going to go. So there's that. It's together. Let's get my radio in there and get it set up. And we have a completed slow plug slow poke. So there you go. Next stop, we'll be out at the field.